So you're thinking about moving to Bellingham, Washington, and you have a budget of four hundred to five hundred thousand dollars, and you're curious to know what that budget might afford you. Well, in this video, I'm going to take you around Bellingham, showing you three different options in that price point, and if you stick around till the end, I'll do a brief recap on this particular segment of the market. And we're going to get started right now. <music> Hey, if this is your first time to the channel, we encourage you to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so you can keep up on all the content that we're releasing about Bellingham, about Whatcom County, and all the great things that are going on here in the area. My name is Jeff Engen. I'm with MJB Real Estate Group, and every day we get calls, texts, and emails from people just like you who are considering a move to the area, and we absolutely love it. So whether you're considering a move tomorrow, 10 months from now, sometime in between, we encourage you to reach out. All of our contact information can be found below, and we're standing by and ready to help any way that we can. Uh, but for now, let's go take a look at these homes. All right, so stop number one. We are here at a home in the Whatcom Falls neighborhood. This is a two bedroom, one bath home. It's about 864 square feet. It was built in 1927, relatively small, but on a very large lot. So nearly 12,000 square foot double lot. Uh, could be potential future development opportunities here for you know, either building a new home, uh, adding on a, an accessory dwelling unit, an ADU. Um, this is a great location, central to town, close to Whatcom Falls Park, close to Galbraith Mountain, just minutes from, uh, from downtown. So uh, currently on the market at 449. So this is a good uh, example of a stick built single family home in this 400 to $500,000 price range. Let's go take a look at uh, house number two. All right, so stop number two, we are here in the Barkley Village area. Now this is a townhome community that's uh, tucked nicely uh, off of one of the main throughways. It is convenient to Barkley Village, it's convenient to local schools, and it's convenient to a great trail system. Uh, now there is a home currently on the market in this neighborhood. It is a two bedroom, two and a half bath. That's approximately 1,300 square feet, and it's on the market at $460,000. Uh, these are great little units. They do give you a single car garage. They do give you a little bit of a yard, but they are relatively low maintenance. Uh, and again, just in a fantastic location. So in this mid 400 price point, uh, if these number of bedrooms, uh, approximate square footage is something that would, would meet your needs, this would be a great option to consider. Let's move on to stop number three. All right, so stop number three, we are here on the north side of Bellingham in a brand new 72 unit townhome development that's going in. And as I pan back this other direction, you'll be able to see that this is very much an active construction zone at the moment. So there are some model units that are finished, but this is very much in development. Now, uh, the homes in this community are going to be starting at 499. So at the top of this 400 to $500,000 price range, what that will get you in this particular community is a two bed, two and a quarter bath, 1300 square foot home. It is going to give you a two car garage. They're doing something that's a little bit unique for our area, which is putting uh, the garage on the back side of the property and then having more of a, an entrance, a little bit of a yard space off the front. So uh, looking to be in the North Bellingham community, looking to stay in this uh, four to $500,000 price point. This home is going to be brand new. It's going to be stainless steel appliances, quartz countertops, nine foot ceilings on the main level, uh, just really good high quality materials and uh, and gonna be just completely turnkey move and ready. So three homes, three different price points. As promised, we'll head back to the office briefly and just talk a little bit more about this particular segment of the market and uh, what your options might be here in Bellingham. All right, so back in my office and as promised, we're gonna do a quick recap on this 400 to $500,000 segment of the market here in Bellingham and also share a little bit of information about um, other areas of Whatcom County as well help you consider uh, perhaps looking at some of these other major cities within Whatcom County that might have something that fits the budget as well. So as of the time recording this video, there are 102 active listings in the $400,000 to $500,000 price point here in Whatcom County as a whole. Now, 28 of those are located in Bellingham, 17 are located in Ferndale, eight of those are in Linden, and 21 of those are in Blaine. Now you can do the quick math, add up those numbers and realize that those don't all amount to 102. So you're gonna find that some of these listings are in areas like Sumas, Nooksack, Everson, some of the smaller communities here within Whatcom County that may very well be a consideration for you as well. Typically those are gonna be more rural. Uh, you'll learn more about those in other videos to come. 
but as of this time, as of today, 102 active listings in that price point. Now, if we look at Bellingham specifically and we look at the last 90 days, the last three months of sales, uh, historical sales data here for the Bellingham market in this particular price point, we're going to see there's been a total of 59 homes that have sold in this particular price range. 38 of those are single family homes that accounts for approximately 64% of total sales and 21 uh, of those sales have been condos uh, that accounting for roughly 36% of total sales within the segment. Now, if you haven't seen the video on the 300 to $400,000 price point, would encourage you to take a look at that uh, because that of course is going to be within your budget as well. And uh, the thing that I would note there is that in this particular segment of the market going into 400 to 500,000, the percentage of single family homes has gone up to 64% of those total sales as compared to approximately 20% of the homes uh, were single family homes that were sold within that 300 dollars to $400,000 price point. Now, with these homes, a couple different things to uh, consider in this four dollars to $500,000 price point. Uh, many of these homes are gonna be located in areas like Sudden Valley. Now, out in Sudden Valley, which is a little bit further from um, kind of your core downtown, uh, or rather core Bellingham neighborhoods, you are going to have on average probably a three bedroom, one bath, probably sub 1500 square foot home that's gonna fall into that price point versus homes that are gonna be more inside of the core Bellingham neighborhoods are probably gonna give you something that's either a two or a three bedroom, uh, a single bath, and it's gonna be probably sub 1000 square feet. So maybe 800 some odd, 900 square feet uh, in this particular price point. So as you'll see in the next video that we'll do that five to $600,000 range, um, again, there'll be a, a greater disparity or a greater shift uh, moving from you know, a larger percentage of homes that will be single family homes as opposed to townhomes, condominiums, et cetera, that will be available to you in that upcoming price point. So hope this has been helpful to you. As always, uh, we encourage you to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so you can keep up on all of the videos that we're releasing. And uh, again, all of our contact information can be found below. We would love to be of help to you in any way that we can. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and uh, look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks so much.